It was about 30 years ago. Billy was hiding out in an abandoned farm near Stinkin' Springs. I threw in with the kid because the man I had sworn vengeance on was riding with Billy's enemies. But before I tell you why I want that some bitch dead, let me tell you what happened that day. I was heading back to the hideout when suddenly I had this funny feeling. Funny, haha? -ha? No, Steve. The other kind of funny. You heard that. You need to stay here you can deny on the road. That's not fair. We're missing all the fun. I knew those two morons would never let me through. I had no what choice. The hell? Shoot that, some bitch! Was it Pat Garrett's posse? Oh, yeah. I heard the shots and I knew I had to move fast. They're coming from the rear! Garrett and his army of deputies had surrounded the entire homestead. I decided to help Billy and the boys out of it. So that's just what I did. As the governor of New Mexico was paying for the kids' apprehension, Garrett was able to hire every gun hand at Lincoln County. I knew that going through that front door meant putting my butt in a shooting gallery. So I decided to get sneaky. You're dead! Watch out! He's one of them! God damn it, he's right behind us! bunch of chickens with their heads cut off. Still, one of them reached the water tower. Not a bad idea. It would be a turkey shoot for my back. Luckily, these shooters Garrett hired weren't as sharp as tools in the shed. A lot of them were saddle tramps or sod busters or drunken drifters looking to make a few bucks. Friendly voice yelling at me from the window. Back door! We got we'll cover you! Stop aiming, you idiot! Truth be told, things weren't much better behind the house. I cut their numbers in half, but that just made the ones that were left twice as mad. They made up for their lack of skill with a seemingly endless supply of ammo. It was a bit of a slog, but I finally fought my way around the back of the house. And like that, I was inside, dead, none the worse for wear. I passed Dirty Dave, and upstairs I found Billy dead and Charlie Bolger. Billy looked at me and said, About time, amigo! Grab a gun and get to the window! Wait, so you were friends with Billy the Kid? Yeah, sort of. Anyway, we were surrounded by dozens of deputized shooters who wanted to do us harm. I'm telling you Garrett's men were dropping like flies, but they just kept on coming. I think I got one! That's when Charlie got hit. They're catching us in a crossfire, shouted Billy. Get to the other side! I'm fine, I'm fine!
Sumters I personally put down, but it was pretty clear, even to Billy, that maybe discretion was the better part of valor. What's that mean? It means that it was time to cut and run. They got a gallon, Billy shouted. Get the horses and bring them round back. I'll draw their attention. Directed that order at me. And I thought, what the hell do I have to do? Many would have fled in my place. But I had that false sense of invincibility that many young men have. Like Jack. What are you saying?